So you've rented out your animation and now you're stuck with hundreds of images and no video to play. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can quickly convert all of these images into a single video file inside Blender. So step one inside Blender is to change to the video editing layout. Now, if you don't see that option up the top, you just want to go to the plus button here under video editing and then click video editing. And now it's opened up an entirely new layout. Blender has a whole heap of incredible tools that you get to use within the software and that means that we don't need to download things like Premiere Pro or After Effects. So the first thing we want to do is import our images. In order to do that, we're going to make sure that we're hovering over the sequencer and click Shift A and then we're going to add in a new image sequence. And next we just want to find the folder where we had rendered out all our images. And as you can see, I have frame zero all the way through to frame 110 rendered out here. So I'm going to scroll all the way back up to the top, grab the first one and then select all the way down to the bottom one. We're going to change the end frame to frame 110, as you can see by this number here. And then we're going to click add image strip. And now if we quickly scroll through, we have all of these frames compiled into the one video. But now we want to export this out. So we're going to leave all these settings down here as it is and then go into our output properties. From here, I'm just going to drag this down so you can see these settings a little bit better. And we're going to start by changing our file format to FFmpeg video. And now in order to actually change the file type that we're going to render out to, we need to dive into these settings a little further. So we're going to go under encoding and open this up. And now here is where we can actually change the container type that we're going to use. And you might recognize some of the names in here already, but we want to go for the MP4 file. So in order to do that, we're going to change this to MPEG4. Under the video codec, we're going to leave this as H264. You can change your quality to either high quality or lossless. I'm just going to go lossless for now. Now, there isn't too many other settings that need to be changed here. We're not rendering any audio, so we can just leave this as no audio. And now that we have all of our settings exactly how we want them, now we want to go ahead and render this out. So here we're going to change our output settings and we just want to render this as export video. I'm going to click accept and now I'm going to go to render and render animation. And now you can see down here with a little progress bar that it's quickly rendering out our animation. And it's doing this super quick because it already has the images compiled. And now you'll see inside our folder where we had all of our images, we now have this video file here. So if we open this up, we now have our video file playing back our render for us.